Earlier this month, two Native American tribes once again had their rights trampled by the U.S. government. Agents from the Bureau of Indian Affairs, the DEA, and state and local law enforcement raided ranches belonging to the Pitt River and Alturas Aboriginal tribes, stealing 12,000 cannabis plants and an additional 100 pounds of bud. Pitt River tribal leaders called the raid a violation of their sovereign rights. Tribal Chairman Mickey Gummel Jr. said they are very disappointed with the decision to descend on sovereign land with an army of nearly 50 law enforcement officers. He added that the fact the Bureau of Indian Affairs would take such a disrespectful approach to an Indian tribe on its own land is a serious assault to the tribe's right to self-governance. Tribal members describe the raid as a violent invasion of their land. Witnesses say agents even brutalized ranchers. One facility worker, Jerry McGarva, described the scene. You could see them coming off the hill, all the pickups and everything. They said, this is a raid, put your hands up. They told us to walk through the gates with our arms up or they would shoot and kill us. McGarva and another tribal member said that one of their leaders was tasered. Another employee claimed to see two officers beating one of the ranchers. Furthermore, at least four people were arrested during the raid. The Bureau of Indian Affairs declined to comment on the allegations of violence. After the DOJ released a memo last year allowing Native American tribes to legalize cannabis, dozens of tribes including Pitt River and Alturas moved to legalize medical cannabis while others also chose to legalize its recreational use. Even though the Justice Department provided guidance for tribes seeking to legalize cannabis, the statement warned that it doesn't stop the government from investigating and prosecuting tribes for actually implementing the reform. The assault on Pitt River and Alturas is just the latest in a long history of abuse and exploitation suffered by Aboriginals at the hands of white settlers who stole the land they now violently govern. For hundreds of years, Native Americans have had to fight for their rights to life, land, resources, and dignity in their own homes. Aboriginal tribes are considered sovereign nations by law and should be given the respect they deserve to make their own drug laws.